Man, my truck's dirty. Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day. Um, today, uh, we're gonna be installing a product that was sent to me. And uh, first of all, I wanna thank uh, Tough Skins for sending me this product to install in the truck. Um, this is actually going to um, solve one big issue that I have with the Tundra. And we'll get into that here in a minute. Um, these are like, um, they're adhesive on the back. These are the two that go in the back cup holders. You have the front panel up here. You have the, uh, the center console panel. You have the little holder behind the shifter, which the Platinum Editions do not have this little holder so i won't be using this piece and then you have the three cup holder pieces that go into cup holders the first thing you want to do though is clean all the surfaces that you are going to be applying these on now they say use like a mixture of cleaner and alcohol and water um what i'm going to do is the same thing i do for all decals um i'm just going to use alcohol i'm going to clean where i'm putting these down at uh really well and um I've already cleaned one section to test to make sure that um, it didn't discolor it and I had no discoloration in the plastic or anything like that. So I know it, I knew it wouldn't, but I just wanted to test it. I always test a small spot if you're going to use a chemical on your vehicle or plastic or something like that to make sure that it doesn't discolor it or fade it or do anything to it um that you wouldn't want people to see because you might be able to see this you know there might be a small spot or something that this may not cover that you've got this on but alcohol did nothing to mine so i can tell you that it, it didn't do anything to mine but you still may want to test it on yours before you do it um so i got to clean the whole spot where this is going on um i wanted to blow this out and get all the dust off of it and stuff like that but i couldn't find the air nozzle so i'm going to clean it real well with alcohol and uh dry it off good and then we will actually um, install these and then I'll tell you the problem that this is gonna solve. Okay, as you can see, here's the center console piece. I just have a bottle of 70% isopropyl um, alcohol. And uh, we're just gonna get that on a towel here. And I'm just gonna clean really well in between each one of these grooves because in between each one of these grooves is where that adhesive sits. And I wanna make sure that I get real good down the sides and make sure that it's uh, you know, really clean and everything to make sure it adheres to the plastic really well. Now this stuff, as hot as it is in my truck, um, pretty much dries immediately as you can see there. And we have a nice uh, clean, grease-free section that we can apply this to. Now I have to also clean um, this section here, this little groove, these two cup holders, this section right here, and then the cup holder that is right here. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clean that, and I also have to clean the two cup holders that's in the back, back here in that armrest. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean these because I know you all just don't wanna sit there and watch me clean all these places. So I'm gonna clean all these and then um, I'll be back and I'll show you the installation. Okay, I got everything cleaned really well. I used a lot of alcohol, made sure everything was really degreased because I did use, you know, Armor All whenever I, whenever I cleaned this before. And they say in the instructions when you wanna, wanna do this, um, you want to use apply alcohol and water cleaning mixture to scratch resistant cloth, which I used a paper towel and just straight alcohol because alcohol really gets up um, any kind of residue or any kind of greasy substance really well. Like I said, you want to test that on your truck. You know, if you feel better doing the alcohol water mixture, that's totally fine. But um, mine came out good. Um, clean uh, insulation surface area thoroughly and wipe dry immediately with alcohol. It pretty much dries immediately anyway, so I didn't have to dry it because it was dry before I got done. And uh, ensure parts and vehicle surface are between 70 and 110 degrees. It's about 88 here today, so I'm definitely in between those two uh, ranges. And they say to dry fit these first, uh, then remove the adhesive back and then place it down in there. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open these. Here's how they will come. Again, I would like to thank Tough Skins for sending me these uh, to install my truck to test and review. I really appreciate it. 
Um, so let's put these in. Let's get these open. And I'll tell you what I think, what they feel like when I first um, open them. Um, it is kind of a foamy material. Um, it does seem like it, it would have good texture to it. It'll keep stuff from kind of sliding. And we'll address that here in a minute. But uh, here's what it looks like out of the pack. So there's the long strip. Um, this piece out. Here is the piece that goes in your center console. Then you have your two cup holders. Now I did get all black. You can get highlights inside these of red and blue and stuff like that, but I just chose to go all black because my truck's basically all blacked out. And I didn't have any color on the inside of mine, so I just went strictly um, all black to keep that all black theme that I had in the truck. Um, next is the third cup holder. And then you have the great big piece that goes up here in front. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna flip the camera around and set it down here so you can see me install this. Okay, so the first piece we're gonna install is this center console piece, which is this piece right here. Now they say to dry fit it, and it looks like it fits perfectly down in there. I mean, it fits perfectly. I don't know if you can see that. Um, let me move the camera just a little bit. You can see it, it fits. It does have the little holes cut out for these little grooves in there, and uh, it, it really fits perfect. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna peel the backing off like they said, to bring out the adhesive. Now, I'm not gonna to touch the adhesive like they also said. And then I'm just going to push that back in there and push these down like so. As you can see right there, they say start in the middle and work your way out. And that's what I'm doing like that. This front one is smaller, so I really want to make sure I get it down in there. And right there you have it. You can see it's it's nice and, and down in there. Um, it's nice and seated. Uh, the bars are actually coming up through the middle and um, it fits perfectly. It really, really does. So the next thing we're going to do is the two cup holders. Let me see if I can get you up here where you can see the two cup holders. Okay, now you're up here and now we're going to do the two cup holders. They say test fit these before you put them in there. I'll just drop these in, they fit perfectly. Now I will tell you they're almost too perfect because I cannot hardly get them out. So that's how perfect they actually fit. So when you're just test fitting them, it's a little bit hard to get these back out, but that's a good thing because that's how good they fit. So we're gonna do the same thing we did with the other one, just peel the backing off. And then we're just gonna drop this down in there. Start in the middle, work your way out to the edges, um, putting it down like so. There's that one. And then the next one. This has some good adhesive on it too. Um, you really have to try to work to get up. And that's what you want. You don't want something that has some bad adhesive. It's just, it would just come out. So you want to drop this down in here as well, like so. And then work your way out to the edges like that, making sure that everything is good and seated, especially around the edges, because that's where water and stuff is going to get up underneath it. So in my opinion, if it's going to come loose at all, it would come loose around the edges because water is going to seep around or, you know, whatever you spill or whatever condensation comes off your glass, it's going to actually leak underneath the edges first. So make sure it's all good and pushed down and seated around the edges. And uh, that looks really good. So the next piece we'll do is this long piece here. As you can see, we have it we will test fit it. So however they cut these, um, they cut them very, very precisely. Um, we'll just peel this off of this one and then we'll just drop it down in here like so and do the same thing we did with the other ones. We'll just start in the middle, work our way out. And it's just that easy. It's in there, nice and, nice and you know, fitted. Third cup holder, fits down there just like all the rest of them. So then again, just peel off the adhesive. You know, there's a redundancy in peeling off the adhesive. Drop this down in here, like so. Work it from the middle out. And there you have it. I did get a little bit of sweat on that, so I'm just gonna wipe it back off. 
Last piece up front is your big piece right here. The grooves fit right in between there. It's, it's cut perfect. Peel off the adhesive, like so. Just make sure you get it down in there good. Make sure it's all fitted good. All the way up against it. Like that. And there it is. All the front pieces are now installed. And uh, they're in there. I mean, that, that adhesive is really good. Um, it's really stuck down good. You can see here, it ain't coming up. Make sure you get the edges and the corners good because that'll be where it will peel up. But you can see here, nothing's trying to peel up. So we're, we're all good here. I'll take you to the back, show you the install of the back. Okay, so we're in the back. We're gonna test fit these. We'll just drop this one down in there like so work it around and like I said on the cup holders you really want to make sure you get the edges um, seated good because if any fluid is going to get up underneath it or any liquid or water or condensation it's going to be on the edges first so uh, just make sure we get that all seated and there's the completion right there it's all done so let's head up back up front We'll finish the video okay it was just that simple just make sure you clean it good get the grease off of it make sure you press the sides down and all around the corners make sure it's seated real well and uh that's all there is to it and now you have a nice padded rubbery area foamy rubbery rubbery area to uh to set your stuff now i'm going to address the title of this video the big problem that this fixes with the tundra so the Tundra, as you know, or most of you know that on a Tundra, has this compartment right here in the center console. So that's where I put my cell phone. That's where probably a lot of people put their cell phone because it fits perfectly right there. Now the issue that this fixes, it drives my wife crazy when my cell phone's sitting there because it vibrates around and makes a lot of noise. Um, vibrating up against the side of the, the plastic and stuff like that. No, it don't bother me. I don't even notice that it does it, to tell you the truth about it. What I do notice is when she starts complaining about it. And that's when it becomes a big issue to me because then I have to listen to her complain about it. This fixes that problem. Anything you put up here in this little compartment area, in the cup holders, um, down here in this compartment right here, now has a foamy, rubbery texture that won't let anything slide around. So that big issue that my wife has about the Tundra, that is probably her number one complaint about the Tundra. Out of the gas mileage, out of you know the, the lifted ride, out of everything, her number one complaint would be that my cell phone rattles. Now, if your wife is anything like mine and little noises like that just get on her nerves, then this is definitely the product for you. Um, or if any little noise like that gets on you. I got buddies that owns cars that just any little noise drives them crazy. And this is the product for, for them and you, seriously. Um, it will stop all that. So I will link Tough Skin's website in the description of this video. So go click on that. Um, go find the product that fits your vehicle. Um, install it and you'll have no more rattling. Um, it'll secure stuff a lot better and uh, make your wife happy, which is one of the main reasons that I did it. Um, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Great product. Um, I tell you what, in about three or four months, I'll do another video on how it's holding up. If the adhesive's coming loose or anything like that, I'll do an update so you can see how it is in three or four months. But um, appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.